a senior Vatican official came out today announcing publicly that he is gay. Monsignor Christoph Karasma is calling on the Vatican to publicly change its stand on homosexuality. I'm joined by freelance reporter Megan Williams in Rome. So, wait, Megan, why did the Monsignor take such a public stand? Well, it's not just any Vatican priest. I mean, this is someone who has worked for the doctrine office of the Vatican to promote and protect uh, various Vatican uh, doctrine and, and rules. Uh, he's been there for since 2003. So it's someone who's really at, at the core of, of the Catholic Church teaching, at which he called today uh, the heart of homophobia within the Vatican. And he has a Spanish lover who he presented today. He said he dedicated his coming out to all the priests who remain in the closet. And the timing is very important as well, because uh, uh, tomorrow, Sunday evening, the Synod on the Family, where the Vatican bishops get together and talk about issues of whether or not divorced Catholics who remarry can receive sacraments, or what their stance, position will be, towards uh, gays within the church begins. And so how has the Vatican reacted so far to this? Well, they fired him. I mean, they certainly reacted a lot more quickly than they did to priests who had a lot of allegations of sexual abuse against children. Um, he, they, Father Lombardi, the Vatican spokesperson, said that he will lose his position at the Doctrine of the Faith, that office in the Vatican that decides decides uh, Catholic doctrine, and that he may be defrocked as well. They're leaving it to his local bishop to decide his, his fate on that count. The Vatican appears mainly uh, angered over the timing of this. They, they say that he planned it in such a way that his coming out will put, quote unquote, undue pressure on the family meeting at the Vatican this week. So that seems to be what's bothering them the most. Any sense uh, yet of how people are reacting to what you just said, which is an interesting point, that in fact he was fired more quickly than priests accused of sexual assault? Well, I mean, the, the interesting thing about this is the Vatican is saying they're not firing him because he's homosexual, uh, which, you know, perhaps is technically true because the Vatican says it accepts homosexuality as long as people don't act upon it which today uh, the Polish priest who came out said, uh, you know, that's ridiculous. It's a, it's a cruel thing to, to ask a group of people to do, to be who they are but not act on, on an important part of that. Um, I, certainly there have been a lot of tweets and a lot of comments uh, about just how quickly the Vatican reacted to this, of course compared to the sexual abuse cases, but also even compared to how its denial of the Pope's encounter with Kim Davis. It took the Vatican three or four days to, to downplay and distance that encounter with Kim Davis, whereas this was almost simultaneous. Interesting. All right, Megan, thank you. That's reporter Megan Williams in Rome.